John Brack was born in 1920 and grew up living in Melbourne. His house growing up consisted of many paintings and pictures hanged on the wall as his parents had an appreciation for art and music. His childhood home held very few books within it. This of course gave John an appreciation for art also and a passion that made him one of Australia's greatest 20th century artists. After the 50s, Brack styles developed while his themes became more sophisticated. The Old Times, made in 1969, is one of a series of paintings showing a dance competition. All are vividly coloured and sharply drawn in a variety of poses. In each of these, it is a part, it has a particular mood and time is captured in an artistic aspect. In much the way that his earlier painted commuters going home or closing time at the pub. The striking palette of pink and red contrasting against the black of the male dancers' suits transcends the documentary, highlighting the artifice and fantasy of his world. Painted in 1954, the bar is widely regarded as the companion piece to Collins Street 5pm and was only acquired by the National Gallery of Victoria in March 2009. With the assistance of the Victorian State Government, Director Dr Gerald Vaughan considers it to be one of the National Gallery of Victoria's most important acquisitions of 20th century art. The painting marks a time in Melbourne when hotels were forced by law to close early. The phrase six o'clock swill was used to describe the behaviour of patrons who crowded around the bars to get a last drink before closing time. In this world, John Brack cleverly uses the device of a mirror behind the bar to make it possible for us to see both sides of the bar at the same time. We stand with the patrons facing the barmaid as she waits on her customers. She looks tired and seems resigned to deal with this unruly crowd and the urgency of their demands. In this painting, most people know even if they don't know Brack. Collins Street, 5pm, 1955. Painted in the middle 50s, it illustrates the drone-like conformity as people pour out of their place of work and head home. Much of his early work is similar. Ironic in tone, earthy, occasionally washed out colours and spare angular lantern jawed people, representative of different gradu graduations of urban and suburban existence. In its illustration of the ritualised drudgery of nine to five office work, the painting gives visual form to the ideas of 20th century thinkers who believe that modern life was characterised by alienation, boredom and a sense of disorientation that urged energies into the face of an apparently meaningless and absurd world. Us, We, Them, painted in 1983, describes one of the most basic aspects of human behaviour as three groups of pens and pencils gather in metaphorical representations of the need to identify with others and to belong. Each group is composed of similarly coloured pens and while difference is de declared by the playing cards, banners, there is nothing else to distinguish between them. We, Us, Them is also about the relentless consistency of human behaviour across generations.